Hi everyone, it's Jan from Jan Plans Things and welcome to my March bullet journal setup. Um, and I'll be going through my whole monthly setup in this video and as well as try and introduce the tools that I'll be using for most of the month so you guys have a good overview of everything. So I'm starting off with using a Uni Kurotoga pencil. Um, this is one of my favourite paces. Uh, um, it's because the barrel rotates as you use it and it keeps the point nice and sharp and um, because you don't realize that sometimes the pencil can blunt quite easily. I'm using a basic stapler eraser. Um, it's one of my old faithfuls. So I haven't had to replace it in quite a long time. And I'll be outlining everything um, with microns this month. I was using the road trings last month, um, but I feel like I want slightly thicker lines this time around. So I'm using my trusty micron pens. Plus, um, I'm using a lot of watercolor as well, so they always work really well with them. My old faithful paint brushes this time around are the White Knights, um, the Isabe, and the synthetic one, which is the Princeton brush with the clear handle and those are kind of like my go-to brushes at the moment and I'll also be using um, the Della Rowney uh, masking fluid which I use um, can see me putting on now to cover up things because I want the stars to be as shiny as possible and I've got a new palette which I'm really really happy about this is a ceramic palette made by Soray Home and it's handmade and I do love supporting um, I do love supporting like artists at home and uh, that's a really lovely palette that I've um, ordered from Korea and the plus side of it is that it um, doubles the lid doubles as a painting palette as well and ceramic palettes are kind of like my favorite to use at home because they're so easy to maintain and clean. So what I'm doing now is I'm using uh, a very pale uh, purple and purple bluey wash and I'm just laying it down in really small circles and I'm kind of building up the colors so the first layer you saw was kind of just like a cloud to kind of give it that gradient look and I wanted to um, just slowly build it up in the middle Humphrey's gonna visit a few times this um, this week he had a, he wanted a lot of attention so like I had to use my left hand the entire time to pet him and whenever I stopped for a while he would punish me by climbing on top of my notebook <laughs> it was a big clingy but it's okay it's nice to have company when you're doing stuff like this um so as you can see I'm just using the same colors over and over again and I'm slowly building up the layers and intensity and I've you might have noticed that I've switched to using the Loesch term notebook this month I was just kind of missing the creamy pages um I love my Archer and Olive, don't get me wrong, but um, I do like how uh, kind of like watery um, the finish looks on top of the LT because the paint sits on top of the paper a lot more um, compared to the Archer and Olive where the paint sinks down. Another reason of changing back into my LT is because I have already set up a future log in this one. Um, just a quick note, I'm moving in, I'm moving to using the Sakura Jelly Roll. It's still my favorite white pen after all this time. This one and the Signo Broad, the one mil version. Um, so yeah, I've moved back into my LT because I have a future log already and it was running out of days and I kind of wanted to make sure I made use of it as much as possible. The golds I'm using this time around is from the Coolero Fine Tech palette. I think they changed the name to Coolero now. Um, and that's the reason why I put the masking fluid down because it looks so much brighter painting directly onto the um, onto the paper um, instead of like over the top of some blues or blacks or something like that so I always like to mask out those colors first um, and also by drawing the watercolors into little splotches like the circles um, it means that when it dries in the layers it kind of looks a little bit more like cloudy smoke which um, kind of gives a really good version of the you know of the rocket um, the rocket smoke. Um, I just wanted to show you guys here, I've slowed down the camera because I'm flipping over the page but I'm doing it, I'm drawing directly onto the back of the page. A lot of you guys ask me about the LT, whether I have a lot of trouble um, with bleeding and ghosting. You can kind of see the ghosting on the left hand side. I don't have a problem with that, the ghosting or shadowing. I kind of like it <laughs> because um, I feel like it kind of just looks like the page is a little bit well loved and when you flip through I kind of love that um, the feeling of seeing the um, the ghost of the previous page on it um, so I don't mind that too much if you do mind it the um, Archer and Olive is probably a better notebook for you but the thing is because of the coating on the LT all of the pigments kind of sit closer to the top they look a little bit more transparent and I really really like that look especially when I'm doing something like clouds or galaxies or or something like that. 
Now at this point you guys are probably wondering what happened to the wildflowers theme. <laughs> well, um, the thing is it got really really hot in Australia this week. Like over, I think 100 degrees if you're using Fahrenheit. And I don't know, all the flowers died and I wasn't feeling very flowery. And then I, then I thought back to like one of my favourite things which was August last year where I did galaxies and stuff like that. And I um, ended up putting a poll on my Instagram asking um, if people would prefer to see wildflowers or galaxies. And then the galaxies won out by um, about like 100 votes in the end. It was really close. But that does mean I'm saving my ideas for um, a wildflower April. And because of the my, my like pretty new palette with the little flowers on top, I'm kind of like inching towards it anyway. But um, sometimes you just change your mind <laughs> but I'm very happy doing it this way as well because I feel like um, this is like a very easy thing to achieve in a lot of journals you just keep on painting circles and you just keep on building it up this is something that you should be aware of is that if your paper isn't coated and it's not as thick as the Archer and Olive is I don't really recommend doing something like this because if you're laying on a lot of color it'll just seep right through and bleed right through and make you quite upset and that I guess that's why I do enjoy using the LT so much and I do come back to it quite often is because um, because the paper is coated it doesn't really matter that the paper's so thin it still kind of sits on top anyway um, and it doesn't bleed through and that was one of the big problems I had with the scribbles that matter if you looked at my review I had a lot of bleed through my watercolors because the paper isn't coated um, it's more suited for pen work and stuff like that um, I do know a lot of people have a tr um, have uh, issues with ghosting with the LT but as I mentioned before it doesn't really bother me um, for my monthly spread this month I'm going back to using this kind of calendar layer honestly I think I just picked it because I really like how it looks with like the bullet journal at the bottom with the um the colors bursting out at the top i thought it looked really nice it kind of i like that square um cut out on top of like the cloudy nebulas so i tried to do something a little bit different for my um, mood tracker this month the last time i did a galaxy theme i was like really really happy with how my mood tracker turned out so it was hard to not do the exact same thing again because i'm trying to be creative for you guys <laughs> Um, so this time around I did something a little bit different. So I've got a little graph line at the bottom I've got a sad face on the left a happy face on the right and I'm just doing like a nice cloud in the center to keep with the theme and The plan is to put um, dots in between you know how I'm feeling throughout the month and those dots will collect connect up to show what um, looks like a constellation you notice that I'm doing a lot of those little constellations on the side of the clouds because I feel like it really um, ties the whole thing together I think you don't have to do it you can just do like a cloud um, if you wanted to or the or the you know the space nebula thing but I feel like it adds that extra little touch by having the gold stars and just having those dots there um, because it is already the third in Australia I've just um, drawn in day one and day Day two for you just to kind of give you an idea of what I mean I'm thinking it'll kind of look like a zigzag in the middle or hopefully mostly down the right hand side but um, we'll see how that looks at the end of the month I used to have this page on the right saying ideas I found out I didn't really write ideas on it I've got like um, what I've been doing at the moment is I've been just tracking what TV shows I'm watching mainly because Netflix has uploaded like 300 K dramas and I'm just in a loop of watching K dramas with my husband. It's been a good time actually um, So I've been tracking which ones I'm watching on the um, in my journal and then just giving them a little rating um, And then I like to scribble down any ideas you guys give me during the month like possible future themes um, And things like that and that's what I'm using here So that's why it's a what are you doing tracker because it's kind of just a space where I can track almost all the little things that I've been up to and then you can see me at the little constellation pattern on the side and it's one of my favorite easy box to draw so if you're doing a, a um like a weekly and you want an easy box i feel like that's one of the best things you just do the little gold dots and little stars and it's super effective you would have noticed that i changed my choose to do folder this month to the blue version instead of the pink version because i wanted it to match with my um with my theme and i'm all for overall coordinated looks <laughs> <laughs> I laugh because that's a lie but um I do try uh, so previously in this um, in the spread you would have noticed me painting um, the little uh, the little rectangles to put the dates in but this time around I'm coloring it with the Sakura Micron because I found that the watercolor paint that I was using um, didn't 
um, act as a really good base for the white pen and I found that just by using the micron set to color it in it was a lot brighter so I think that worked a lot better. Um, I do try and incorporate the little kitties as much as possible. You can see here um, I want a really strong line. If you want, if you don't have as much control over the paint yet or your paint bleeds a little bit, you can use a bit of washi tape to um, make that line instead and then peel it off at the end to get a clean line. But I'm just trying to clean, um, try to paint um, within it as much as possible. I kind of want like this strong galaxy look off to the side and the idea um, that the kitty is kind of just dangling his head, um, sorry, his feet over the, the little nebula. I'm building up the colors as much as possible in the middle. Um, by doing that, all I'm doing is dipping the brush directly into the well of paint instead of the premix paint you can see on the lid that I've got of the palette. And because I'm doing that, I get a really bright, rich color and I'm actually quite surprised as I forgot how much um, difference it makes when the paint is sitting on top compared to when it is sitting um, within the paper so you'll notice that the um, the imagery from this month is a lot brighter than my Archer and Olive months because of the way the paper reacts and you know it's really a matter of preference about which one you like more because I think a lot of people prefer the really bright um, bright white pages of the Archer and Olive but you know sometimes um, it's okay to change it up as well so it's um, really dependent there's no correct answer you just have to adjust your technique depending on which um, which notebook you're using so um, that gives you guys a pretty good overview of how I've set up my month I love this theme to be honest I reckon if I could I'd be making like just rainbow nebulas all the time because I find them really fast to do as well so they're really great when you're a little bit time poor like I was because I went to see the cursed child at you know Harry Potter the cursed child um, when I that's when I normally do my um all of my um drawing and it was like six hours of play so <laughs> but anyway here's a little overview of everything I've done yeah, I'm a little bit impatient so my gold sticking to it a little bit but I hope you guys found this video helpful so I hope you guys um, will enjoy my March theme I will try my hardest to do um, some slower um, some slower uh, spreads for you so you can see how you can quickly and easily build up um, this type of graphic and you can follow along for maybe um, a spread in the future but I hope you enjoyed that and I'm looking forward to um, chatting to you guys this month. Thanks and bye.